So if we were to have, for instance, the derivative with respect to x of y, or yeah, of y squared, well, you wanna think, like I said, that the chain rule is occurring. So you've got an inside function, and then you have an outside function. And your inside function in this case is just the function y, and then your outside function here is the function that takes something and squares it. And like, look what we've got. We've got the inside function composed inside the outside function. But now, well, we know how to take the derivative. We do the basic shape of the derivative of the outside function, so that would be two times y, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, so that would be y prime. And then perhaps we could even say this more generally, if we had the derivative with respect to x of, for instance, g of y. So again, we've got some sort of inside function, and we also have some sort of outside function, and the inside function is still just y, and then the outside function is our g of something. But now we can take the derivative using the chain rule. So it's gonna be the derivative of the outside function. Well, the derivative of g is g prime. We're gonna plug y back in, and then we're gonna multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Okay, so you've got something like that. And then, well, you might say, well, that's not exactly what we have over there because there we've got a combination of x's and y's and stuff like that, but you really just extend to that case by using the product rule, the quotient rule, whatever you need to.